Okay, so welcome to um, Python Challenges. This is uh, difficulty level four, and we'll be looking at iteration throughout the most of these challenges. And again, remember these build up, so you'd be expected to use maybe some sequencing in here, some selection, obviously variables, user inputs, and things like that. One thing that you need to be using throughout a lot of these challenges now is this sort of planning sheet. You can find it on the link to the resources. This planning sheet just enables you to think through a program before you start to program it. So think about what are the requirements, a little couple of bullet points, what they do, what possible variables or constants do I need, and a little tick list. Do you need to use selection? Do you need to use some of these things in here? Now, some of them are not covered yet in these challenges, but that's what we need to think about. So have a think about this planning sheet so you're really clear on some of the challenges that you can use. Challenge nine, let's see if you can create me a password checker to check how strong a user and a user's password is using the conditions here. Again, use the planning sheet to help you do this. Think about if you need to use iteration, selection, what inputs you need to use and things like that. So I've pause the video, give it a go. Okay, so this is a complete code here. Um, you may have this slightly different again. This is just the way that I've created it. So let's talk you through this. I've got a while. So this is going to loop until the person clicks X to exit it. It's going to ask the user to um, if he wants to start the program with an S or exit with an X. So you can see here, if S, the X is going to start. Ask them to enter their password. It's going to use this in digits here. So this in digits lets me know if um, they have used numbers within their password. So it's going to say if I. So this is doing is looping through the password. So you see here, if someone types in um, pass there, that's the password on this first one, it will loop around. So the first one will be P, then A, and then S, then S. Obviously, there's no in digits there. So it's going to say at the bottom, it's going to say that it's a weak password. Yeah. Equally, the next one, this is going to check to see if they've used any of these special characters. Yeah, if they have, it's going to become true, and if they have, it's going to become true. If the length is is uh, greater than nine, or so it's less than nine, sorry, it's going to say weak password. And then you can see here that I've got some really complex if statements. So I said if the password is, is greater than nine, but less than 15, and it has numbers in it, it's a moderate password. If it's great, this one here is greater than 15, and it has num uh, symbols in it, and it has numbers in it, then it's a strong password. So you can see how it's a combination of iteration and if statements to figure out how to create um, a strong password. Mm -hmm.